So this is me doing my two-dimensional design homework and I basically had to draw this rectangle and I had to do a bunch of squares and then I basically just did a grid on the smaller photo and I had to copy each square with the value that it had and it basically created this like pixelated image of the photo and the purpose of this assignment was probably just to learn about values which is a little bit silly because I have been making art for so long and these are like very basic classes so sometimes I feel a little bit silly doing this stuff but it was a pretty tedious assignment it took me a few hours and if anything I learned a lot about patience from this class today is april 12th it's a friday and i don't have school on fridays so i am gonna be working on some school work from home i had a little bit of a sleep in this morning i'm feeling very slow it's been super hectic lately as you might be aware of and i just needed a little bit of a slower start to my day so i read in bed and i had breakfast in bed and it was just a very chill morning but now it's like noon i think and i'm gonna get started on some of my work my actual final project isn't due until next month so i have a month basically a month to do that so my main focus right now is i have a drawing that's due on monday that i have to do and that drawing has to be made with either colored pencils or colored ink so i'm gonna figure out what medium i want to use and then i'm probably gonna get started on that and then i'm probably gonna start on my online class uh the lecture for the week and yeah i have basically like a bunch of stuff in every single class that I'm taking but I do want today to be a little bit slower I'm just like feeling like that's what I need right now and it's a very gloomy and rainy day today so that definitely adds on to me feeling this way but yeah that's basically the plan so I'm gonna go get started on probably my drawing or my online class I don't really know yet but it's gonna be one of them okay bye So this is me doing the drawing for my drawing class and I decided to go with colored ink because colored pencils just take so long to use and I didn't really feel like doing that but basically I found this image and at first when I found this photo I was like I'm probably gonna have to use colored pencils to do this because I just felt like some of the colors were so rich and there was a lot of detail and I wasn't really sure if I was gonna be able to do that with ink so I did think that I was gonna have to use colored pencils at first but then I just decided to go with ink and it was fine it was actually not that hard which I don't know why I thought it would be but as you might be aware of I have really been enjoying colored ink lately when I use them I only use the primary colors and then I just mix whatever color I need and they've been a lot of fun to use so this reference photo was one that I wanted to make art of because I really enjoyed the lighting in it you're gonna be able to see more of it once we've gotten further into it but it was a very interesting reference photo the light was like kind of hitting her from the side and it really like lit up her hand and her face and the mug that she's holding or like the little cup whatever that is and i just wanted to paint it because i really enjoyed the light and as you might know in this class the teacher wants us to do a lot of conceptual art and this was not conceptual honestly like I haven't really done a lot of conceptual art for the class. I've tried and for my final projects I have been doing that but I kind of gave up on it and I think that's because I just like to make art to make art. I don't think that there always has to be a deep meaning in what I make. I think that I can make art just for the fun of it and that 
is not what this class requires. It definitely requires a little bit more because it is in a school environment. So you're supposed to learn stuff and it's usually very specific. So yeah, even though I've had that at the back of my mind for most of the art I've made, I've kind of been ignoring it because I know what I enjoy doing and I do like conceptual art, but I don't feel a huge need to do it. I don't feel like that is the purpose of my art personally. My art is more like an outlet for me. The very reason that I started making art was because I needed something to do because I just needed an outlet to feel better. And the fact that that's why I started making art means that that is why I've gravitated towards keeping on making art because it's fun for me and it's relaxing and I enjoy doing it. And I don't know, I feel like there's so many different ways you can view art. And of course, I think that conceptual art is great and it's not like I don't enjoy doing it. I just feel like that's not a necessary part in my creating. And I think that's okay because quite often if you're in school for art, you always feel this sort of pressure to do things a specific way. But I think that it's also important to remember that your art is unique. You can feel however you want about it. You can approach it in whatever way you like. And I think that's okay. Anyway, I do want to talk a little bit more about this specific art piece. So as I said, the reason that I wanted to paint this was because I really enjoyed the colors in it and the lighting specifically. Lighting and color were the two main reasons that I decided to do this. And I had so much fun. When I first started drawing it, I was like, I hope this isn't going to be too difficult to do because when I looked at the reference photo, it looked like it could be quite a big challenge, but it really wasn't as bad as I thought. And something that I've been learning more and more recently is that things aren't as hard as I initially usually think they will be, which is a great thing. And that definitely comes from doing art so consistently lately. You know, before I went to school, I was still doing art very consistently, but having a deadline in school means that there's a very strict, you know, like time when you can do this. So you really just gotta push yourself with the art even when you don't want to. And I think that definitely makes you get better quicker. I mean, obviously, cause you're making art every single week and you're making it fast and you're making a lot of it. So yeah, of course it makes sense that, you know, that you're gonna get better quicker. But I feel like I've definitely been noticing that recently, mostly in the way that I feel when I make the art. I feel like I don't struggle nearly as much as I used to. And it fascinates me when I feel like a drawing is going to be difficult before I start it because the reference photo looks difficult and I overthink it. But then I start drawing and it's not a problem. It's actually easy. And that is literally the greatest feeling in art when things start to get easy and things just kind of naturally happen and everything just feels good. I feel like that's just the best place to be. I feel very blessed that that's where I've been at lately with my art. Anyway, I don't have anything else to say. I didn't film an outro because I just didn't feel like it was necessary. I also didn't have the art piece anymore, so I couldn't show it to you guys, even if I wanted to. So I'm gonna leave you guys here. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and yeah, hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.